Leonardo sets the scene in a garden enclosed by a wall, referring to the concept of hortus conclusus, or closed garden, symbol of Mary's virginity. Note the traditional position of the angel who, coming down from the left, kneels in front of Mary and hands her the lily as a symbol of purity. Mary, reading the sacred scriptures, looks serenely at the angel and expresses her surprise with graceful gestures of her hands. Her right hand rests on the book, as if to prevent it from closing, while the left is raised as a sign of acceptance of her destiny. The work is also famous for some technical peculiarities. The wings of the angel are unique in that they're inspired by authentic bird wings, long studied by Leonardo and thoroughly knowledgeable of the anatomy of birds. Look closely and you may notice another anomaly, an addition of color to lengthen the wings. It's believed to have been added by someone who did not understand Leonardo's desire to represent the angel while he is closing his wings, thus compromising his work. But the most famous anomaly of all concerns the perspective of the Virgin's right arm, which is longer than the left. According to a recent theory, the error might actually have been on purpose, since observing the Annunciation from a lateral position to the right, the disproportion of the arm disappears due to the effect of anamorphism. This optical technique, already used by other Florentine masters, is often found in Leonardo's studies, and therefore it's possible that the artist chose this device in anticipation of the future location of the work. The large part of the scene dedicated to nature is a tribute to the incarnation of the divine in matter, the subject of the work. Great attention was given to the flowers of the meadow, which appear to have been studied from real life, and to the representation of the various species of trees that we see in the background. In the distance, there's a river or possibly a lake and a city with high towers rising on its banks. At the center of the perspective focal point, a large white mountain seems to be the source of light, a symbol of God's presence. Here we have the first evidence of Leonardo's famous nuance. In fact, the artist developed the aerial perspective, a technique that envisaged a more tenuous and nuanced coloring for the more distant details. From his studies, Leonardo understood that distance makes the outlines appear less clear, more confused and blurry, since many layers of atmospheric dust come between the eye of the observer and the subject. Thus, the inquiring mind and scientific attitude of young Leonardo da Vinci transpires throughout the work. <laughs>